Dear everybody, I present to you today um, this uh, study about vaccination in general and anti-COVID vaccination. The question is, uh, the decision making is related or not to sociological incurring and registers of values. Uh, in first time, I would like to thank Professor Giffier, responsible of COVID Troises project, and thanks to the scientific committee of project. Uh, thanks to Dr. Thomas Gilles, CHU Bobigny in France, and Professor Fabien Benvecchi, Otago, New Zealand, for critical evaluation on this study. Thanks to my colleagues of Homeox project, to INSPE of Dijon for the distribution of the questionnaire and a homeopathy promotion association and the various contacts disseminating this questionnaire on social networks. The objective of this study. Um, the, this objective is to analyze the social representations of the general public by crossing the modern norm and postmodern value so sociological in course, as well as the registers of ethical, mystical, and epistemic values, with decision making regarding vaccination in general and anti COVID vaccination in particular. Um, I would like to present to you now the vaccine hesitation and anti vax um, that is present in the literature. Flore, uh, in 2010, classified the population that is not in favor of or reserved about vaccination in two categories, uh, sceptics uh, and opponents. Salvadori and Vigno, in 2019, we classified them similarly as opportunists and radicals. Their definitions are similar, except that the opportunists are skeptics who denounce toxicity after a tragedy that affects them or current event. Otherwise, they all tend to be supporters of alternative medicine, the skeptics or opportunists wanting discussions on vaccine strategies, side effects, vaccine efficacy and safety. As for the opponents or radicals, they put forward religious, philosophical or ideological motives, they seem to be declared opponent of allopathic medicine. Moreover, they are sensitive to the violation of individual liberties, conspiracy theory, and believe that vaccination is ineffective. Salvadori and Vigno we then define in their book four main arguments that seem to cross the ages regarding anti-vax. The naturalistic argument, let nature do its things. The religious anti-vaccinism, fate and gods will justify disease. The alter scientific argument, lack of scientific interest in vaccination. And the political big pharma argument, vaccination is also a political and economic Fair. Societal and sociological evidence attempts to explain vaccine hesitancy. Amin and his collaborators show that certain moral values appear to be clearly associated with vaccine hesitancy in 2017. The study of PISA Patients and doctors' representations show as a result that a certain number of them fear side effects and that they do not have complete trust in vaccination. The expected benefits in terms of prevention, moreover, seems to constitute the central core of their representation, um, explained Sardi and his collaborators in 2012. Uh, if we follow the vaccination intentions according to the Ipsos survey, um, here 57% of French people are ready to resort to a possible vaccine in January 2021. The reasons given were firstly fear of side effects, then doubt about the 
the effectiveness of the vaccine, then opposition to vaccines in general, and finally not feeling threatened enough by the COVID-19. Now, uh, the methodology. The proposal of the questionnaire were based on the work previously carried out on the analysis of scientists' representations of homeopathy, like in this figure. Indeed, it appeared in the previous analysis that this in course, norm and values preceded the homeopathy object study and could be applied to other objects and to other audiences. The object of study, vaccination, is also subject to societal controversy and the literature also associates vaccine hesitation with subjects who are rather followers of natural medicines. It therefore seemed relevant to test this hypothesis. The challenge in this analysis will therefore be to cross-reference the ethical, mystical and epistemic registers with the mistrust or otherwise of vaccination. Um, we can recall, based on the previous analysis work, the following definition that helped establishing the proposals of the questionnaire. We can see here um, the modern sociological encourage. It focuses on the benefit-risk balance within, within society. Postmodern sociological inquiring focuses on the limits of science and conventional medicine. The norm, it corresponds to the scientific and pharmacological norm. The value, it corresponds to the value of a medicine without side effects that takes better account of the individual. The, the ethics of justice, this corresponds to taking the patient into account in the medical act, focusing on what is fair and equitable for him, her. The ethic of care, this correspond to um, taking the patient uh, into account in the medical act, focusing on what is important for him, her. The mystical register, the opponents of vaccination are per perceived as being in the beliefs. The, the epistemic register, opponents of vaccination are perceived as pointing out the limits of science, which they would like to see evolve differently. The analysis will use a qualitative approach, st statistical tools, and in particular the key-square test of homogeneity. The statistical test aims at comparing several observed distribution to theoretical distribution within the sample. Now I present you the questionnaire included 10 questions. The first here, uh, two questions asked about distrust or not towards vaccination in general and anti-COVID vaccination in particular, and to know the arguments developed. The next four questions allowed us to define the degree of adherence of the respondents in percentages to the modern or postmodern sociological inquiry, as well as their degree of adherence to the scientific and pharmacological standard on the one hand and to the value of a medicine without side effect that takes better account of the individual on the other hand. The challenge will be to define the existence of a center of gravity on the modern standard encourage or on the postmodern value encourage depending on the subjects. The following two propositions have made it possible to define the degree of adherence of the respondents to the ethics of justice or the ethics of care with regard to care. The challenge will be to define the existence of a center of gravity on one or the other ethics. Finally, here the last two propositions have made it possible to define the degree of adherence of the respondents con concerning the vision they have of the opponents of vaccination is there be seeing them as being in a belief, mystical register, or by seeing 
them as pointing out the limits of science and wanting it to evolve differently, epistemic register. The challenge will be to define the existence of a center of gravity on one or the other register. Now, I present to you the results um, and the profile of the sample of 284 members of the general public. It is important to note at uh, the outset that the sample studied is not necessarily representative of the population in, term, in terms of age, gender, level of education and field of study. This analysis is intended to be qualitative, not quantitative and population-based. However, the distributions of subjects according to different variables will be studied quantitatively, taking into account the overall distribution within the sample in order to define whether certain variables are very significantly related to vaccine decision-making. The variables identified as highly significant may therefore suggest that they could be so on a population basis and will therefore invite further studies on this subject and in this direction in order to confirm these results. The population samples studied included 284 answers from individuals whose various levels of education are represented, ranging from high school to university level. However, um, the distribution is centered on the level here between back and back plus five. Here. Um, the scientific fields of study are more represented, followed by other fields of studies and then by the humanities and, so and social sciences here. Individuals who have followed a literary, literary course of study are less numerous than those who have not followed a course of study here and here. This sample contains a large majority of female represents here more than 200 out of 284 responses. The respondents uh, come from different French departments, the most representing being the department close to the place where the questionnaire was distributed. We can see here um, the study of variables, level of education, higher education courses, gender and age. Only the age variable is possibly related to vaccine reluctance, but we can uh, have a possible methodological bias. The literature indicates conflicting sociological profiles of vaccine reluctance, with some indicating that vaccine reluctance increases with age, but it's not um, confirm. Now, um, we can see here the study of the modern sociological incurring norm versus postmodern value in relation to vaccination in general. Um, these three figures show cumulatively by individual the percentage of um, support for the four propositions concerning the modern, postmodern, uh, modern in purple, uh, postmodern in uh, pink, and norm in blue, and uh, value in orange. First of all, it can be observed that the vast majority of individuals have a rel relative degree of support of each of the proposition, whether or not they have a general mistrust of vaccinations. Um, five subjects out of 69 uh, here, uh, and they say, no, I am not suspicious in the vaccination, um, uh, have a degree of adherence only to the two propositions concerning modern anchoring and the norm. They will be described in the literature as rejecting natural medicines. Certain subjects out of 100 
54 who indicate, yes, I am suspicious, had a degree of adherence only to the two propositions concerning postmodern anchoring and value. They would qualify in the, the literature as rejecting allopathic or conventional medicine. Um, the majority of the subjects surveyed saying, no, I'm not suspicious, have a center of gravity defined pr primary around the modern anchor and norm that we can see here too. Um, subjects saying yes, they are sub suspicious, have a center of gravity defined pr pr primary around the postmodern anchor and value. We can see uh, into the table here also. By statistically analyzing the repartition of postmodern value in cause within the sample with regard to their position towards vaccination in general, um, we can see here uh, a key square of homogeneity confirmed that this distribution is very significantly different between subjects who say no, I am not suspicious, and those who say yes, I am suspicious. On the other end, the distribution of the cause facing the I am sometimes uh, suspicious position follow the initial distribution of the sample and does not seem significant according to the homogeneity kid. It is therefore mainly with a postmodern value uh, here uh, in course because postmodern subjects are more num numerous in our sample. Um, it will also be interesting to note that in determinate and cause were defined. The latter would have needed to be subjected to some structure or narrative interview in order to better identify their modern or postmodern profile. However, we can observe that the distribution of these indeterminate profiles is not significantly different according to the position. Now, uh, we can see the study of registers of ethical, mystical and epistemic values in relation to vaccination in general. We can see two uh, three graphs here uh, with the number of cumulative subjects and uh, for each one, uh, for people uh, who say no, I am not suspicious or yes, I am suspicious or I am sometimes suspicious. This qualitative analysis highlights that individuals with a modern standard encourage here significantly and predominantly mobilize the registers ethic of justice in purple here, consideration of the patient center on the just and equitable, and mysticism register here in orange, seeing the opponents of vaccination in a belief. Individuals with a modern standard on core are predominantly non-trusting. Uh, in the other hand, it appears uh, here that individuals with a postmodern value incurring significantly and predominantly mobilize the ethical registers of care in blue here taking into account the patient centered on what is important for him and uh, epistemic register here in pink uh, seeing opponents to vaccination as pointing out the limits of science. Individuals with a postmodern value in core are predominantly distrustful. In conclusion here, um, we the ethical value register of justice coupled with the mystical register are significantly related to vaccine mistrust and modern standard incurring. The ethical register of care coupled with the epistemic register are significantly, significantly related to vaccine distrust and postmodern value incurring. This results based on the hypothesis of a system of representations common to the homeopathic object will never, nevertheless have to be verified and confirmed by further qualitative and quantitative analysis. Now we can see the explanatory diagram presenting the opposing social representation of the subject of vaccination. 
By crossing the sociological link course, the registers of value and the arguments developed by the subjects interviewed, uh, an explanatory diagram of the representation can be proposed here, which will be based on the hypothesis of a system of representations common to the, the homeopathic object. The latter will have to be verified by subse subsequent qualitative and quantitative analysis. This explanatory chains must therefore be considered, considered in the light of these limitations. The subjects interviewed indicate the reasons that led them to be or not to be distrustful in general and with regard to the anti-COVID vaccination. They responded using the proposed closed ended answered and variable and smaller percentage of them wished to add additional or complementary qualitative information. The speeches grouped in the appendices will serve as an illustration of the additional argument developed and will be integrated into the explanatory diagram. However, it should be taken into consideration that the number of subjects who develop these additional arguments is less important than the initial sample, which would require a larger population analysis to be confirmed. Now, on, sorry, on the right, the social representation of subjects uh, with a postmodern encourage is a detail. Um, this anchoring is linked to the value of a medicine without side effects uh, here, um, taking better into account the individual. We can understand from the analysis that all the subjects with a postmodern anchorage uh, will point out the existing limits to conventional medicine. We can therefore see associated with this incurring an evaluation of vaccination here with a degree of certainty regarding its protection. We will be able to distinguish subjects with a high degree uh, of certainty or even total certainty from those who will see a relative effectiveness or even none at all. Those for whom the degree of certainty is high here, or even total, we correspond to the profile of non-distrustful or sometimes distrustful subjects, uh, even if they point out the possible existence of side effects and the limits of conventional medicine, they will indicate that the benefits-risk balance is in favor of vaccination and will be able to indicate that they have confidence in medicine to, um, to treat them correctly. These subjects will want to be vaccinated against COVID. However, if they feel that there is a lack of hindsight and they are not completely confident um, of if their own situation contrary indicates or does not require vaccination, they will either hesitate or not want to be vaccinated. In this case, some will not want to change their mind and others will do so to return to their previous life. Qualitatively, these postmodern profiles seem to be more associated with value registers tending towards the ethics of justice or the mystical registers or toward an equality of ethics and registers. For subjects with a postmodern background whose degree of certainty is more relative with regard to the effectiveness of vaccine protection in general, the functional dimension of the core is associated with additional arguments here. Lack of interest or limit interest in vaccination or even vaccinations that may be harmful or the possible natural treatments, things that are hidden from us about the contents of vaccines and pharmaceutical business. Depending on whether the subjects evaluate the vaccination as having little or no, no effect effectiveness, the choice on uh, the COVID um, and on the anti-COVID vaccination will differ. We will find uh, opponents of the anti-COVID vaccination who indicate that they 
do not want to change their mind, mainly among subjects who believe that the efficacy is almost uh, non-existent or that vaccines are harmful. They added the lack of insight and the feeling of a global experiment in which there were guinea pigs. Subjects with a low but um, not zero degree of certainty about vaccine efficacy in general will either not want to, um, to be vaccinated against COVID for Uh, equivalent reasons or will hesitate to do so despite equivalent reasons. Some will say they will not change their minds. Um, others will say they will change if it is mandatory to regain their freedom or if um, they think they are making others sick. The values registers associated with these profiles are mainly center on the, the ethics of care and the, the, the epistemic registers. On the left, um, the social representation of subjects with a modern uh, encourage is detailed. This anchoring is linked to the scientific and pharmacological norm. We can understand from the analysis that all the subjects with a modern courage will not point out any limits to conventional medicine, but will put forward the benefits-risk balance. Concerning vaccination, we can therefore see an evaluation of vaccination as effective with regard to the normative framework. Subjects who nevertheless point to the existence of possible significant uh, side effects will be distinguished from those who see very few, if any. Um, subjects with modern and course seeing possible important side effects and or whose own situation contraindicates or does not require vaccination will correspond to unsuspecting or sometimes distrustful individuals in general. They will want to be vaccinated against COVID. However, when coupled with an assessment of a lack of insights, they will hesitate but indicate that they will change their mind when they, they know more. These topics, while generally associated with registers relating to anchoring ethics of justice and mystical register are more associated with value register ethics of care, epistemic register or equality of ethics and registers. Subjects uh, here with a modern encore who see no or almost no possible significant side effects will correspond to the inspected subject who will want to be vaccinated against uh, COVID. These subjects are all associated with the ethics of uh, the justice and the mystical register. It should be noted that the literature associates vaccine, vaccine hesitancy um, with subjects who are followers of natural medicine, which is consistent with this result of our analysis and in fact linked to the post anchoring center on the value of uh, medicine without um, uh, side effect that takes be better account of uh, the individual. It should also be noted uh, that a study of uh, the literature on the representation of doctors and patients already pointed that the expected benefit in terms of vaccine prevention seems to constitute the central core um, of their representation. This is what we find here, but we can ha add that this functional dimension will be driven by the sociological incurring. However, it is interesting to see through this analysis that the subject classified as opponent on the anti-vax, uh, I'm sorry, uh, um, here, uh, so, um, The subjects classified as opponent or anti-vax in the literature and assimilated to radicals opposed to allopathic medicine or uh, to um, conventional medicine uh, correspond to those within 
our study, who say they are distrustful of vaccination in general, who do not want to be vaccinated and who do not wish to change their minds. We might have expected to find only subjects with deep-rooted postmodern anchors whose center of gravity is totally shifted to these anchors with zero uh, percent adherence to the modern anchor and the norm. However, it appeared in our analysis um, that they correspond both to um, this rootness profile, few in number in the study, only 13 uh, subjects, uh, but also mostly to subjects with more moderate and weaker rootness, whose center of gravity is therefore less distant from the center of gravity of the modern anchor and the scientific norm, or even equal for a certain number of them. On the other hand, it seems that the anchoring is coupled primarily to more deeply rooted registers of epistemic values. Consequently, the rooted uh, epistemic uh, for him, uh, for here, um, register coupled with the postmodern anchoring would seem to be more decisive in the position uh, of radical anti-vax subject than a rejection of conventional uh, medicine. To conclude, um, in order to reduce vaccine uh, distrust in light of this uh, explanatory analysis, it appears that contextually to COVID-19, uh, the, um, the inside of RNA vaccination and its side effects could have an influence on certain distrusts of subjects with modern and postmodern cause. For some postmodern subjects, uh, the development of vaccines according to the old techniques, attenuated virus, etc., would be more um, reassuring and could remove some of the mistrust, but also if the vaccines were produced without adjuvants, if they were not produced by private industries, or if studies of the side effects over the long term were carried out and presented. For other subjects with postmodern roots, the certainty of proof of making others sick if they are not vaccinated could lead uh, them to change their minds while maintaining their distrust, but also if it becomes a necessity for travel. More fundamentally, uh, vaccine distrust could only be completely uh, lifted for those subjects with a modern cause who express it, but not really for those subjects with a distrustful postmodern encor, since their encor point to the limits of science and conventional medicine. In extensions, this exploratory study, if confirmed, would be in line with previously published results concerning the analysis of scientists' representation of homeopathy. It would show that the modern versus postmodern sociological incurring and the registers of values could be determining in the position of individuals on social and scientific subjects such as vaccination or homeopathy in the previous study.